After spending my life savings and waiting for an in-game week, I finally got my home powered up. Because of that, I plan on buying the electric auto heater for my sugar shack, along with tuning my Koenig when I get the chance to unlock the track. Hey guys, it's Trice here, and let's start our Monday off with my only stock Koenig, because as you see right here, this empty space, which was my racing Koenig, which unfortunately, when I was doing some street racing, I managed to flip this bad boy, like, probably like 150 feet in the air that's all the way over at the Maple Surf Federation, where it's basically, like, in the ocean up in here, which I gotta buy the towing service or whatever to bring the car back to the gas station and drive this car back up here, which, unfortunately, I can't tune the car just yet, so let's get on over to the gas station and bring this back to land. So as I come up to the scene, and here is my car, still struggling to stay afloat up in here. So like what I said yesterday when I was doing street race, I think it was against the Luke or something at 240. I hit this electric pole right here, and once I hit it, I all of a sudden just flew like 150 feet in the air, just joss on, hitting the ground, the sand, and all of a sudden, I landed up in here in the water, so I unfortunately... Cannot recover it using the little winch and cranking thing of a jig here, the hoist puller, and bring this back to shore painfully. So unfortunately for the second time in this series, I gotta call the freaking tow truck to bring this bad boy up here in the next 24 hours. Well, now it's 8 o'clock. I believe everything is... Are we rolling back? Yep. I would say I believe everything is open with the Maple Surf Federation, the gas station, and of course Roger's shop to get the Koenig, the racing Koenig. Basically tuned up a little bit more than what it is right now, and here's my only barrel that I sold since Friday. Alright, is your name Roger? It's been a while. Eric, Eric, sorry. Welcome to the Maple Surf Federation. What it do, Eric? Sorry about you not saying your name right. So here is the electric auto heater, which needs the grid power which will cost me $18,000 and prepare for the to-do list, which will pop up on the left side of your screen. And... <laughs> so now, we're at $3,814.03. Stop rolling back. You won't regret this tech was passed by your home. The installation should be finished by the time you get back. Yes, sir. Let's get that right now. And since the gas station is open, let's go to Turtle Truck by Service D. Remorquage? Yeah, the towing service? And bring back the Koenig for $99.99. Do it now. Uh, come back to next working day to get your pet vehicle. Thanks. Bye. Uh, screw you, Blazer. So let's bring this barrel to the freaking barrel circle jerk up in here. 29%. Who even cares? So here is the electric auto heater. So the big difference is the switch. Boom. Now it's on. And all of a sudden, we are now warming up the freaking tank up in here, which would. Now I say would, but it's. Let's say a big replacement compared to me, like, chopping the freaking firewood ass. So I grab the chainsaw, bird goes a tree, goes a tree, there goes a tree, and all that good stuff. Switch up a birch tree farm way over there. So cut down the trees, and go to wood chipper, and load up on the truck, and bring all the wood over here. Yeet the wood over here, and grab some of the wood, and put it in the furnace, and do all that. Just to make maple syrup, but now, wait for it. And, come on, bubbly. Now we can have the electricity do all the work, rather than putting in the wood in the periodic, like... Well, I put a wood periodically just to warm up the furnace, which you see here, there's no temperature gauge, it's all powered by electricity, which will do all of the work, and not me doing all the work with putting the firewood in. So now that my maple syrup operation is semi-automated, except for putting the barrels, like, in here and all that stuff, and eating to the truck and selling and all that good stuff, we pretty much made this a lot more efficient than what it was in the past. And I might as well try to sell as much barrels as possible, seeing that my Koenig is, needs to be towed, and it'll be ready by tomorrow. But probably by tomorrow, I'll do some street racing, some tuning, and all that good stuff, and probably save as much money, which I need $70,000 to get the frickin' racetrack unlocked from my boy, Normand, in the gas station. The next morning. So when's my car gonna pop up? I also bought the trailer over here. I brought it from the house up in here, and there goes the car. So let's get this, uh, these barrels first, and attach the car second. All right, Mr. Barrels, these are my four barrels that I have produced on a Monday. So barrel number one, and barrel number two, three, and number four. I'm also gonna buy a fifth barrel up in here, which I'm technically... Instead of making $800, I'm going to be making $600. Excellencio Tsoa. So instead of, like I said, instead of $800, now I made $600 by bar uh, buying a second barrel. Or my fifth barrel, let's put it that way. Alright, so for the car on the trailer, for my freaking American truck driving simulator skills up in here. 
so I believe I did it too close, didn't I? Eh, seems fair. Uh, Mr. Blazer? Uh, I I'm sorry, Mr. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Blazer, turn around, please. You hit me, I'm gonna sue your ass. Just button park and wait, dude, you freaking dumbass. Now you hit me, your ass is getting sued now, fool! Oh, let's, 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 let him, let's let him go. Here. Happy, Mr. Blazer? That's what I thought. Alright, so, the ramp. Just... like... that, unlike what I did with the scrap cone with the junkyard update. Well, still can't get on, let's... Oh, let me drive us up here. So, stop right here. I'm afraid I'm gonna arrest the two of you, and let's, uh... Oh, my e-brake was up. So, let's see. Will it now attach as soon as I close the door? So, attach the vehicle. I, I had the option. Uh, close the ramp. God damn it, game. Here, I'm closing the ramp. Wait for it. Good enough. Despite the tires still moving. Now we're doing a burnout. Because I have to release the e-brake in the Koenig, I guess? Here, release the e-brake, aka the parking brake! What are you doing, mate? Alright, we'll go now. Here we go. A little bit of a burnout, but... We are... Perfectly-ish okay, I guess. And since I got the Koenig, I might as well pull over and shop at Rogers BSC's the Autos Auto Parts store up in here to... Oh, what the hell? What's making it drive backwards? Is it the glitched out collision I had with the race or what? So, Roger Penske, I look good today. Take a look around. There's a lot to take in. I agree, dude. So the sway bar's off my car, uh, did I use, like, the street setting or something like that, or do I have, like, the race setting? I don't know what I put on here because, well, unfortunately, I can't see. Because I gotta get the creeper underneath the car to see what's up. I don't want to spend, like, $800 on something that I don't need that I already have at the moment, so that's a strut bar right there. We already got that, we're okay, and bus volume 8. I don't want to get on your bus, man. I said, I don't want to get on your bus. Do you hear me? So, in terms of the... it looks like it's a street bar up in here. It's all black. I think these are street bars. Let me look at the parts in here. So, yeah, these are street sway, bar, uh, sway bars. We have the front sway bar and a rear sway bar. So, these are the street ones I got or I got in my car. So, I might as well buy the racing sway bars for the rear and the front for uh, about $420 each. And I might as well buy a spoiler up in here. See, I already got a spoiler in the back, which is basically a huge lip spoiler for the rear end. It takes up the Koenig Manufacturer's badge up in here. I mean, I do like the style and everything and how kind of aggressive this ducktail spoiler is. But I might as well buy a legitimate spoiler that's a little bit more better in downforce and everything and realism sticks and everything. So, 325 for a legitimate spoiler. Put that in the back. And for the heck of it, since I don't have a passenger seat, let's buy this one for $800, another racing seat up in here. Drop this bad boy off, and I might as well turn around back to the gas station and buy a couple of regular bolts and some brakes for this truck here, as we still are, first of all, the hood's up, uh, going backwards up in here, so I might as well just close this right now. Done, and get to the gas station, please? All right, my boy Jockwiz. Hey, what's up? Grab that maple syrup. Screw you, dude. So first of all, caliper left good by this one. Ooh, baby, babe, soul. So by the first one there, the left caliper and the right caliper, which I believe they're the rear brakes for the truck. Hey, can I see the rear brakes up in here? Or some these are the rusty bolts. Uh, yeah, these are the crappy brakes in the back. And also, I might as well buy a legitimate racing wheel for the Koenig too. Seeing that I just got this little bustering wheel, which is a little bit comical, but. I might as well buy a legitimate racing steering wheel, see, we only got three spokes up in here and all that good stuff, and it's not too attractive for this type of car. So, two twenty-two ninety-nine. here we go, and we're at $1,800, so we're under $2,000. Can you, uh, can you guys get a room, please, before hell breaks loose? And the bolts. Let's get out of here right now before anything else goes. See, it's there's still st stupid stuff going on right now. Okay, let's see how my back it up skills are like with this bugged out trailer. Well, first of all, this is gonna be a pain in the ass how bugged this thing is. Going, am I really going the wrong way or what? See, I'm trying to turn the other ways, but it's refusing me to turn the other way. I might as well just ditch the trailer and just drive the car back other than the garage. 
Yeah, screwed it. Let's, uh, drop the trailer. Well, first of all, drop the ramp, and then, uh, detach the car from the dolly. Okay, car. Stop right there. Back a little bit. Stop right there now, and get the truck back into place. I mean, I also want to drive to the frickin', uh, sugar shack over here and try to sell this barrel quickly as I can while this damn spoiler does its job. So let's make a quick run to the Sugar Shack and fill up this barrel and try to sell it back to the Maple Surf Federation and start the tuning process of my car to Cairo, Egypt. Stop. Stop. Thank you, for God's sake. Well, it's abandoned the trailer. First of all, abandon the trailer. Stop twerking. Get down on it. Get low to the window, to the wall, to the sweat drop down my balls. Before I depart, I got everything in, except for the bolts. Did they land around here, or what? I mean, I gotta get to the frickin' Sugar Shack in the next, like, hour before- or the Maple Surf Federation before it closes. Yeah, screw it, I don't have time right now. Let's sell this boy right now, and... <laughs> come back and find the uh, screws, the bolts. Okay, mister, my only barrel of the- No, technically five days, so... Here's a barrel. Five barrels you sold throughout the day, so... Now I made 800 hours rather than 600 hours. Alright, double check on my parts. I got my racing sway bars, my wheel, my clear matte paint that I bought at the Rogers shop there, my brakes, my spore, my seat, so again, I need to find the bolts that I bought at the gas station. Which, I don't know if it yeeted off into existence, I like went through the ground or whatever, so... Oh, that's the sprout and everything. Here's the trailer, but I don't know if this... Can I, uh, crank the trailer? Or grab the hoist power and crank it? Can I do that? Yes, I can. Because I don't know if it's gonna be underneath the trailer or something like that to find the bolts so I can pretty much start work on the car in peace and do a couple street races, or just do all three of them. Try to race my boy Tom, then my boy Luke, and probably Michael, even though it's kind of a waste with the car he's got and all that stuff, his tune of his Ricer uh, Sunbird. So pulling it back, I still can't see it. Like, where the hell did it go? So if I looked in the lost objects bin, nope. I might as well just tow the chair back home and just say screw the search party and start doing modifications to my Koenig. Okay, so let's finally grab the parts, yeet them to the car, even though it's not cause any dents or windows being shattered or nothing like that. So yeet all the parts and get ready to tune this bad boy yet again. So for the truck's brakes, how far can the impact gun reach? So... No problem right here, that's good. But how about the other side? Let's see... Inch a little bit closer... Oh, oh, oh barely. Here we go. Yep, you gotta know the meta of this game and how to find the bolts to your truck and everything. Or pretty much any car to do stuff like this. And I believe, yes I can, but, well... I just know this is gonna be even more of a pain in the ass to try to, like, get the calipers out right here. Well, we might as well just use the freaking getaway and just, uh, grab the little hoist puller and pull this thing even closer. Just so the bolts can reach the brake calipers up here. I mean, it's the most ghetto way of trying to install brakes on your car. So the rear janky... Come on, man. The rear janky. Where is it, bitch? Come on. There we go. The rear janky right calipers. And here's the good caliper. Put that on here. And seeing that I kind of regret this, let's first put the wheel on to find... Where is it at? Yeah, find... Uh... I gotta, gotta grab the creeper. Come on, you can make it, dude. Come on, you can make it, I swear. Yep, this is the most Canadian, rural, hillbilly way of trying to modify your car. Let's grab all the rusty bolts and bring them closer so they're not underneath the truck where it's hard to reach, even though I can use the air gun to clean it up and everything. And remove the tire again, and I don't think I did this. No, I didn't. Now the left caliper... Uh, done. And let's just bring this creeper back, and might as well sleep through the night and just tune tomorrow morning. Alright, it's a new day. I finally attach both tires and both brakes to this here truck, so we're now good to truck as of right now. So let's give this bad boy a drive to see what's it like with the brakes. So I'll get, a, I'll get to a high speed and we'll get to like tarmac in town or whatever. I'll slam on the brakes to see how well they perform compared to the old brakes with the old brakes in the back compared to the new brakes in the rear. So approaching the Maple Syrup Federation, let's hit the brakes. And... It's... A little bit better than before, I'll give you that. 
And since I lost my bolts, let's buy these yet again. Hope to God I don't lose these away for $25. Might as well put this inside the truck so they don't go anywhere in case I flip this over a billion times or shoot myself 500 feet in the air like I'm trying to freaking batch the Burj Khalifa in freaking the UAE or something. So real quickly with this car, as I produce all the Babel syrup and all good stuff, I might as well quickly tune this car by changing out the sway bars, the steering wheel, and all doing some minor tuning with this car. But I gotta hurry before around 14, 1500 hours up in here. We got a few hours to do this, but I only filled up a few barrels, but I gotta do more to try to maximize my profits by selling up to $800 worth of barrels that we got going here. It's $1,000. We got five of them, so that's $1,000, yeah. So let's get started with the two in this car. So first of all, the regular metal bolts goes bye-bye for everything. The 12s and the 20s for each wheel to apply the, the, the black bolts here. Which we got the black 20 goes on there. So what's it like just right away and... Hmm. Looks pretty clean. Just first impressions. So here's the black bolts and... Damn, it looks pretty clean already. Let me do the rest of them right here. Oh, uh, you know, so I just noticed I'm now at a black bolt, so I need to buy more at Roger's shop. So we got these bolts right now, and the rest, mm, I gotta go to a shop, like, pretty much right now. So the old, big-ass lip spoiler, the unique lip spoiler for doing all those street races. So the real, this spoiler, the real spoiler, goes on the back. And let's see the final result of the wing. Damn. Looks even more aggressive than just having the little duck spoiler, I'll tell you that. Adds a little bit more downforce, you know what I'm saying? Alright, and seat. Put it right here. Add insta frickin' bars. Alright, now let's, let's do the wheel right here. Take out the bus steering wheel, and I might as well check into my sugar shack to see if everything's all good up in here. And I might as well have to buy a frickin' shelf soon to put all these parts up. So it doesn't make a frickin' mess like Komodo Gaming, where it's just like, uh... Well, wait, where's my seat? Or er, wheel. Yep, I'm a dumbass for not putting that on first. <laughs> I was say, I don't want to put up my garage like a freaking mess at Komodo Gaming, where he's got like bolts everywhere, parts everywhere, and all that stuff. Alright, so let's quickly check into my Pimp Dell Sugar Shack. Alright, so progress report, I got three barrels right now, and I'm filling up the fourth one, but I don't think we're gonna fill the fifth barrel up in here. I might as well have to fill this in the next video, unfortunately. So I might as well just keep close taps of the fourth barrel, and, I'll, and when I get the fourth barrel filled up, I'll go to the sugar shit. God damn, I keep mixing this up. The Maple Syrup Federation, okay? And I go to Rogers and buy some more black bolts and finish up the tune of the car and do a street race after that. Okay, barrel number four goes boom. I was early. Here's the fourth barrel. Let's go to the Federation and sell the four barrels that we got here. And as per usual, with the barrels, yeet goes that, yeet goes that, and yeet goes that, and yeet goes that. 800 hours, and go to Rogers as soon as I not cut off the blazer. And now my boy Roger with the bolts, $35. He doesn't care, unlike Jockwiz at the gas station, because, well, he knows I'm going to be buying here and all that good stuff. All right, now the rest of the 12s. Now I can put these on here with relative freaking peace. So we could drop this bad boy and do all that. Not like drop the bad boy, drop the bad boy, but have all the bolts on here so every tire is secured so it doesn't fly off at the moment we drop the car, drive it, and all that good stuff. We don't want any loose in the wheel or nothing like that. All right, tires are now secured. Let's clean up any loose bolts by just doing that and doing that. Just yeet it into the freaking ground. Do it like that. And lastly, do it like that. <laughs> and all we got left, I believe, is just the sway bars underneath. And that's it. I believe so. So grab the Minecraft Creeper and put a chom. Is it just these two bolts? Yep, just those two bolts. Uh, I might as well just keep doing the rest. Hold on, where, where's my gun at? And now, for the sway bars, it says remove, there we go, we got the front sway bar, which I believe is the, yeah, street setting. Alright, get rid of the sway bars, both the front and the rear, so which is, this is the front sway bar, which goes on here, and I believe the rear, uh, I, I saw it. No, we ain't changed the wastegate sound, so rear sway bar, just hastily do that, and let's, uh, hold on, are these the rusty bolts? Yep, they're the rusty ones, I might as well clean these up. I might as well try to clean up any rusty bolt as possible, so... Creeper, stop doing that, man. Say Minecraft. So let's use the regular... Again? What are you doing? It might be by controller or whatever, so I'm good right now. So let's keep installing these regular bolts of the car and just go from there.
So unfortunately, with the 12mm bolts I got, I used up all the regular ones, so I did everything up front with the front half portion of the vehicle, but going towards the back, I could only do the rear left suspension and wheel bearings and all that stuff. So let's clean up everything as my guy with the frickin' magnetic tray is going off like frickin' Tower to Creators frickin' Earthquake up in here because, well, you see, I'm pretty anxious right now. Hey guys, sorry I'm late to the party, let's downshift to frickin' first and talk to my boy Anthony so I can go to spring and turn to a power of rust to catch my boy Tom. Uh, are you gonna V6 swap that thing, hit the car black, you can absolutely go upgrade your sway bar, it's insane, and Tom will stop just like that. So yeah, it's almost like a regret I'm having with my steering wheel that it's just a regular racing steering wheel that's kind of putting some of the speedometer, the tachometer, and of course, make this left hand turn my fuel right here, my fuel rating, it's in the way up in here compared to the bus steering wheel where I had all that visibility on my gauges and everything so I could see everything from my speed, tachometer, the temperature gauge, and my fuel gauge all in one. Yep, got a thousand dollars from Tom. I don't know why he hasn't claimed bankruptcy yet from whooping his ass every single night or pretty much every other night as I have time to do these street races. Alright, let's not be like what I did off camera and just continue straight. 24, 5,000, uh, 52,889 milliseconds. So let's hit the brakes and stop right here. I'm afraid I'm going to get arrested to you. And sleep throughout the night because I don't need to race Michael. He's a slow ass. And here we are the next morning, so let's just... No, the barrels aren't even in yet. Are they in or no? All right, barrels, come to me. Thank you. Let's put these in the car so it's hastefully... It sucks I don't have uh, an empty seat anymore to pass your seat, so it's going to be kind of difficult to put these inside. Can I do the same thing for the trunk in the most ghetto fashion? Maybe? To maybe not. Maybe! We put it in the trunk successfully, so the fourth barrel... Mmm, let's see... Good enough. I don't need to see out my car. I could just spit and go to third person and drive away. So pulling up, we're still bottoming out, and I believe... Oh, how can I... Here we go, right? Yep. Now, how do I get out of my car? Good. So I believe we got all of our barrels in check at, really, 239 out of 240? You gotta be kidding me, friggin' game. So let's get all the barrels and get ready to save this bad boy and do all this stuff in the next video. And here's barrel number, technically number four, number five, whatever you call it. So here's number five, fifth one that we got and the fourth one that I sold from yesterday. So now the pump's going off, I might as well just fill these barrels up the best I can. And hopefully, once I save enough money to get $70,000 from my boy Norman to open up the track, which I'm currently at almost uh, a little over $3,900, which is at what, like a half a percent or something like that to my goal of $70,000. I might as well keep grinding and grinding and grinding with every single barrel that I got here, thanks to this electric auto here doing all the work compared to firing all the wood and throwing the furnace and going from there. So now I have to count on electricity to do all the work by selling all this stuff to the Maple Syrup Federation to get enough money to open up the track. So anyways, that'll do it for this episode of Mon Bazool. And for those who are interested in this type of content, please be sure to like and subscribe so you won't miss out on any videos like this in the future. So this is Tries Rising Up, and signing out.